Noisy Pixel. I may not consider myself to be a huge fan of Arage, but I can appreciate them for what they are because I understand that there are diehard fans out there, which means this genre shouldn't be overlooked. Alice Saw's Evanickel has many layers and many systems make it stand out as more than just an all about sex title. With that said, it still manages to be all about sex. My name is Victor Aparicio, and this is Noisy Pixel's review for Evanickel by Ash Erickson. In Evanickel, players will meet Ash Deer, just your average guy who just so happens to want to have sex with his twin sisters. One problem is he can't, and it's not for the against the law reasons you expect. You see, in the world of Evanickel, the Holy Mother Eve has two rules, don't kill and you can't have sex with more than one person. If you break a rule, you will become an outlaw and shunned from normal life. However, a loophole in these rules is to become a knight, and once you become a knight, you're able to kill bad guys and have as many wives and husbands as you want. These rules can create some interesting scenes that didn't always sit well with me, like the event that a woman gets raped. The rules stand and she loses everything after a black ring appears on her finger. I was glad that as the main protagonist, Esther questioned these rules didn't understand why everyone was just so okay with the outcome. Don't get me wrong, he's still a scumbag, and many of his conversations with women end up with him bringing up their physical looks. Interestingly, Evan Nickel has a pretty solid RPG system that features turn-based battles and an open world. I wasn't really expecting this, but it made my time with the game more enjoyable by farming experience and collecting items, as well as fighting against overpowered bosses. Character illustrations are awesome, and by far the best I've seen in any game like this. However, the 3D models running around the world map could have used some work. I'd like to add that almost every character is voiced, even the male character, which adds life to all the characters. Evan Nickel is a long game with a ton of story to satisfy text-hungry visual novel fiends, but also has a few good moments that show character growth within an ever-expanding harem. Astir is an alright main protagonist, even when he starts saying annoying things. But what I appreciate about the game is that it played around the theme of sex which made me laugh at times. And after 25 hours of playing with not an end in sight, I'm going to say that this is a great first Arage for anyone who's reluctant to try the genre, and a must for anyone whose souls already lost to the Arage demons. Noisy Pixel gives Evan Nickel an 8 out of 10. 